Hey, I'm gonna watch this video. I am gonna do things a little bit differently this time. Uh, first thing, I've got some constructive criticism about a few things I could do differently, which I agree. Uh, just kind of starting out with these reaction trailers. I've done gameplay for years and years and years, just kind of for fun. But I, you know, really into movies, TV, all that kind of entertainment, video games, all that shit. So. I started doing reaction videos, and so I'm going to do an introduction on this one, which me telling you I'm doing it is kind of weird, but my name is Will. I run a channel called Sunday Morning Mail, as you can see. Um, I'm going to keep it that name. I like that name. I thought it was clever. I was a little proud of myself, but anyways, uh, I'm going to go ahead and basically watch this trailer again. I've seen it already. All my other reaction videos, I... It was first time watching type of thing. This I've seen. Um, I already kind of have some opinions. So I'm going to actually kind of stop while I'm watching it and kind of discuss things I do and don't like about it. And, you know, I think most people agree from what I've already kind of read on the internet. So I'll go step by step here. And, what, three minutes? I'm, I'm sure it's less than three minutes, but. So I'm going to go through, tell you what I do and don't like about it. I still can't get that right. What's the first thing you liked about me? I like the fact that it's Bill Skarsgård. He's great. Uh, he killed it in You it. feel like my person? blown away. You feel like my person. What's the I don't, worst I, thing you've ever done? She looks familiar. I saw things. <laughs> Now, the girl in this, she looks familiar. I don't know how I know her, but I know her from somewhere. <laughs> the first time I watched the trailer, I don't know. There's just something about her that just doesn't fit. And I don't know it's be if it's because I just don't really know who she is, so I don't really know what to expect. But, I mean, I don't know. We'll see. Because it's really not about her, if anybody knows not in it very long I'm assuming this one she's not in it very long but I should be able to just hit the space bar now I shouldn't have seen any of it It's been a while since I've actually seen the original Crow. Um, so I don't really remember exactly details like how they kill them and stuff like that. But so far, like, that's pretty dramatic. Like, you know, the suffocation thing. Yeah, I can see, like, that's kind of like gives you that weird feeling in your stomach. But. I mean, it's not RoboCop, you know what I mean? Nah, you might not know what I mean. I, I know what I mean. I and Lionsgate, they were killing it for a while, and then they just started shilling, shilling out anything. So you never know. It's kind of hit or miss sometimes. When someone dies... A crow carries a soul to the land of the dead. But sometimes something so bad happens that the soul cannot rest. Until you put the wrong things right. You were given the power of a god. But you're running out of time to save her. First thing I will say that I noticed that I really, really like. I'm a big horror, horror fan. Uh, mostly 80s, maybe early 90s. I can't think of anything right off the top of my head early 90s. But I can think of tons of 80s horror movies that I'm like, oh yeah, that's amazing. I'm big into gore and kind of all that stuff if done properly like 
There's a difference between, like, good gore and just, like, gore porn. Like, Hostel is a good example. It just felt like the gore in there was just gore to be gore. It wasn't, like, I, I don't even know the, the correct way to say it. It just felt like they were trying too hard. I'm not a huge fan of uh, Eli Roth. That's what his name is. I was blanking for a second. Not a huge fan. I think he goes overboard, but he doesn't always do... He doesn't make bad movies necessarily. Yeah. Let me uh let me uh, take care of that real quick. Ignore that. Um What was I saying? Oh yeah, Eli Roth. Uh, speaking of Eli Roth, Borderlands movie. Ah, uh, I'm concerned. But anyways, um but the kind of violent gore in this, it it seems very appropriate cuz that's kind of what this movie is about kind of the the violence and just hatred behind the events that happen is kind of what makes the the idea of the crow bringing him back to life believable because it's traumatic it's it's a big deal and to see this kind of you know even as you go on it it gets more if you haven't watched the trailer yet you'll understand soon but it gets kind of bloodier and a little bit more graphic i guess is a word to use and that, that's kind of what saves it for me a little bit. Because I'll be honest right off the bat. I'm not feeling this trailer. It doesn't have the right vibe. Something feels off. And the only saving grace for me is Bill Skarsgård. He was great in it. And I thought, you know, oh, you can't remake it. Tim Curry was amazing. You can't do better. And I'm not saying he did better. I'm just saying he got as close to living up to Tim Curry as I think could have been possible. So that's like a saving grace in this for me, but we'll see. Nope, no space bar. We'll see. What am I doing wrong? I'm going to kill them. Every single one of them. And he's still one of those actors. I feel like all the movies I've seen him in, he does like an American accent. And for him to still kind of have a bit of an accent going, which... I don't know. Now that I'm thinking about it, I feel like he doesn't really have much of an accent when I've seen him in interviews, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm just kind of thinking about somebody else because I don't know him real well since it. I didn't really know him before that, but it's a little weird for me. Kind of him having a little bit of a weird accent in this movie kind of throws me off, but if you've never seen the original one, that's not going to matter, so I guess it's irrelevant. <laughs> And killed you. Yeah, you did. We have a problem. He came for us. First time. Pulse. It actually worked that time, and then I screwed it up. But anyways, that's the one thing that I did notice. His makeup. Don't know if I like it or hate it yet. I don't know if it's kind of one of those like, oh, well, it doesn't look the same as Brandon Lee, so I don't like it. Or if there's just something really about it that I don't like. I've yet to be able to separate myself. Because, you know, you do a remake, a reboot, whatever you want to call it. You don't want it to be exactly the same. And what they're doing with the makeup is close enough to be different, but not exactly the same. So it's like, Kind of shooting myself in the foot. Is that the term? That's not the term. It's something like that. But it's like, I'm kind of complaining about something that had they done the exact same thing, I'd probably be complaining about that. So, I don't know. It's kind of one of those things like, I'll give it a chance. I'll kind of, I'll see what happens. But the makeup, kind of it curving. I like the idea, but I don't know if, I, if I'm into it yet, I guess. I don't know how I feel about it quite yet. But it didn't work that time, but it worked a second ago. Anger. Now that right there, him walking up the stairs and then just unloading on him and just kind of the way he reacts to it. Like, I'm really into that. I don't know why. I don't know why. But when I saw that, I was like, oh, shit. 
Like, I'm really, really... That makes me feel like kind of the action and violence might be kind of in the realm of what should be done with this. It's not anger. It's love. And I will say, she said it's not anger, it's love. I got a love, I got a lot of love for a lot of people, but goddamn my anger for some stupid shit in this world just surpasses any other emotion. But anyways, I digress. I I you, become. you know that love promises only pain. You have no idea what hell awaits you. No, I do. That right there. First time I watched this trailer, not really much of it made me excited or, you know, kind of got me amped that they actually made this. Because anybody that doesn't know, I've been hearing about them redoing this movie, I feel like, for the last 10 years. And it's just never happened. And I've kind of always thought that's a good thing. But now that it is, it has been, and it's happening, that is the only part that got me super excited in this trailer. Just the look on his face, the sound of his voice, like, just that got me amped. I was like, oh man. And, and mainly because, like I said before, with it, Bill Skarsgård, kind of like, I didn't have any good expectations. I was like, oh man, you shouldn't remake it. But what he did with it, the character Pennywise was fantastic. Had it not been for him and what he did with that character, I don't know if I would have really liked the newer It movies. Um, which I'm, there's a show, a Welcome to Deary or something like that. I, I'm going to be doing a reaction to that eventually when I get some time. But he is the only thing I'm really excited about in this movie. How many people have you loved? I'll never be alone. Ah. So this is definitely not a theater movie for me. Um, I kind of wish it would go straight to streaming. I'd prefer to stay home and watch a movie just because there's so many people out there nowadays that are just so self-involved and disrespectful of the world around them that it's just unenjoyable because of those individuals. But even that being said, like, this trailer didn't get me excited at all. Like I said, that one part, what did he say? Uh, I don't think you know what you're getting into. And he said, uh, oh, I do. Like, that, you know, kind of gave me goosebumps, gave me those sh that kind of feeling where I'm like, oh, damn. Other than that, it's just, I'm not, not impressed by this. It's not, I hate to draw this comparison because I've seen it all over the internet. And it's what a lot of people are thinking. And I don't want to put this idea in someone's head that's not already thinking it. But it really is kind of like a Jared Leto Joker. And I'm not saying Jared Leto did bad, but ultimately he looked ridiculous. Like, it looked bad. And just him having similar vibes and kind of like the second I read, you know, the second I read it online that, oh, it's basically Jared Leto's Joker, Joker it kind of ruined it for me so I guess I'm possibly ruining it for a bunch of people ruining it for a bunch of people that didn't think that way but I don't know I'm definitely not hopeful and if I have any kind of hope whatsoever it's because of Bill Skarsgård Skarsgård guard I don't really know how to say his name but I mean ultimately it's definitely not a I'm gonna run to the theater and see it but I am interested in seeing what they did. And I've got really high hopes 
I'm hoping it's good. I'm not expecting it to be good. And from what I've read, it kind of seems like that's the consensus, unfortunately. Because like I said, I've been hearing about a Crow remake, reboot, whatever you want to call it, for a very long time. And I'm pretty disappointed that when it finally happened, this is what we got. And to be honest, if Ernie Hudson is not in it to, like, even just a cameo, I could understand you don't want to make him, like, a character. Yeah, I get that. But you better cam you better have a cameo. He better, he better be in there somewhere, because Ernie Hudson was just as great in that movie as Brandon Lee was, and... Those are the two guys in that movie that made that movie what it was. Um, I don't really know a lot about like the directors and writers of that movie, so I can't really speak to that. I'm sure it might be somebody I actually... The director and writer might be people that I absolutely love, but I don't know. Maybe I should have looked into that before I did this, but I didn't, so it's too late. But, I don't know. Ultimately, I'm not excited. I don't expect it to be good, but I'm going to check it out. I don't know. Maybe if they release another trailer, I'm 50-50 on whether or not I'm even going to watch it. All right, I'm, I'm lying. I'm going to watch it because I'm hoping there's something else to really grab me and say this is going to be great. But until then, I really don't have any interest and I don't expect it to be great. If you disagree, I'm sorry. Feel free to tell me why.